Welcome, welcome everybody. How are you? Welcome. Fine. Hello, Uriel. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Saul. Hello, Renee. Hi, Hello, Susan. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Odette. Hi. Hi, Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello everybody. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Odette, Joaquin. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, William. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Iber. Welcome, welcome everybody. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, good night. Excellent, excellent. Hello, Rosemary. Nice, good job. All right, welcome back, guys. Who can tell me what in? Hola, buenas noches. Uh, hello, Veronica. Welcome, welcome. Good night. Good evening. Uh, who can tell Thank me you. what information do you remember from yesterday's class? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, yes. yesterday uh -huh. we we have uh, the, the the pronunciation of the alphabet. Ah, the, yeah. the spelling, yeah. the name. Okay. Yeah. Let me have one volunteer. The one volunteer to, to give me the alphabet. One volunteer, give me the alphabet. Mm -hmm. The adjective. Let me see. One volunteer. I was here. Uh, I was yesterday volunteer. Okay, Roberto. Uh, Go ahead, Roberto. Go ahead, Roberto. Hey. Go ahead, Roberto. ABC. Ya quité el audífono. Ahora sí me escuchan. Yes. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, H. J, K, K, L, M, M, N, O, P, Q, Q R, S, 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 T, R, S, R, S, S, U, V, W, X, S, Y, Z. All right. Good job. Thank Excellent. You. Excellent, Roberto. Thank right. you, teacher. Another volunteer. Hey. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. What? Hi. Odette, okay. Odette, A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, P, N, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. All right, guys. It looks like everybody practiced the A, B, C. Um, at this moment, do you guys have any questions about the previous class? Questions about the previous class? No? Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next activity. For the next activity, we're going to be working from the next section on the platform, which is check the spelling. Okay. Listen, please. How do you spell names? Listen and check the correct answers. Can everybody hear? One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And 
And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J O N. J O N. Okay. Thank you. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S A R A H? No. My name is spelled S A R A. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Yes. It's S A R A. Got it. Thanks. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S T E V. No. It's spelled no. S T E P H E N. Oh, excuse me. S T E P H E N. That's right. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K A T H E R I N E? No, it's K A T H R Y N. Oh, so it's K A T H R Y N. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C H R I S? No, it's spelled K R I S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. Okay, we're going to repeat it one more time. Repeat it one more time. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J O N. Okay, thank you. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S A R A H? No, my name is spelled S A R A. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes. It's S A R A. Got it. Thanks. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S T E V. No, it's spelled S T E P H E N. Oh, excuse me. S T E P H E N. That's right. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K A T H E R I N E? No, it's K A T H R Y N. Oh, so it's K A T H R Y N. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C H R I S? No, it's spelled K R I S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. All right, who can give me the answer for the first one? John J O N or John J O N H? Number one. Number one. J O N. Number two. Number two. Conversation two. Sarah S A R A or Sarah S A R A H? Number one. Number one. S A R A R A. Excellent. Number three, conversation three, Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N. No. Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Number two. Number two. Number two. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Excellent. Number four, Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E. Or no. Catherine, no. T A T H R Y N. Two. No. 
Number two. K K A T A R Y N. Very good. Conversation five. Chris K R I S or Chris T H R I S. Number one. Number one. Hi. K R I S. Excellent. Any questions about this activity? Questions about this activity? Yes. No. Yes? What is your question? No. Yes or no? No. Yes. No. No question. No. No question. All right. Let's look at the next one. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar oraciones y preguntas usando el verbo to be, ser, o estar. Listen, please. Los voy a poner en silencio porque se escucha la canción de los micrófonos. Gracias. Vamos a empezar por mirar la imagen en tu pantalla de tu pantalla. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M, for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use R, and for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So, um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now, let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Stephen is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject, and as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. Okay, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. And we're going to say he is. Um, uh, mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. Uh, and they are 
my coworkers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. And then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes and no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, okay? So we're gonna move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're gonna say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun, okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Now obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning. And I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Is he mechanic is is he at work are they my co-workers now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Okay. So right here. Now let's learn. How what you're going to do is you're going to give me an example using I, you, we, they, he, she, it. I want you to write at least five examples over here in the discussion box. You're going to go, añade una publicación. And then you're going to go over here where it says, titulo. You're going to put the verb be. 
you're going to put titulo. And then here, you're going to give me five examples. For example, uh, I am Ruben. Uh, number two, he is Mario. Three, uh, we are students. Number four, she is a teacher. Six, uh, she is Sylvia. This is only an example. You're going to give me five examples. Any questions? Yes. What is your question? No, no, I don't have. No questions? No questions. Yo tengo una. Yes. O sea, que se pueden usar todos los, no solamente uno. That's right. You can use okay. I, he, we, she. Eh, puede usar... They are, she, are, uh -huh. you, okay. yeah. Another question? Vamos, teacher, perdón, vamos a hacer una de cada uno o solo una oración? Eh, solo usando una oración de cada uno. Uno usando el I, uno con el you, uno con el we, they, mm -hmm. he, she, it. Ah, ok, ok, está bien. Este, para usado. entrar. Sí. ¿cree que, ¿Cree que me puede dar el proceso para poder entrar y hacerlo y enviarlo? Ayer me costó, pero logré enviar. Ah, ok. Eh, tiene que ingresar a la plataforma, aquí, a la okay. sección 1.9. Solo le da Ajá. aquí donde dice 1.9 a este poquito. Y de ahí se va donde dice añade una publicación. Y de allí le va a aparecer para que ponga el okay. título y el ejercicio. Y al final le pone enviar. Yes, Nuria. Sí, eh, una consulta. Eh, cuando pone el she, he, it, o sea, vamos a utilizar el she. El we, o vamos a utilizar el verbo eh, los dos ambos tanto el pronombre como el verbo correct correct ok ok gracias yes Le voy a, les voy a compartir los ejemplos que ya puse para que puedan ver más idea cómo es no se va a hacer en whatsapp sí, teacher, o, o acá? Eh, se los voy a mandar aquí por el zoom Okay. Y se los voy a mandar por el WhatsApp también. Yes, ¿quién dijo teacher? ¿Quién? Un question. Hi. Hi. Dice en, en la plataforma, en, en, la, en, la, en la página que estamos, título dice, define un título claro y descriptivo para animar a la participación. Necesario, en paréntesis. ¿Es necesario el título? Eh, sí, tiene que ponerle título. En ese caso sería el verbo to be, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Ok, gracias. Ahorita les mando el título. The verb to be. Nos va a enviar entonces eh, en Zoom o por WhatsApp para poder entrar a la, a la plataforma 1.9. Eh, 1.8.1.9. Es, aquí te los mando por el, Zoom. El ya está en WhatsApp el ejemplo. Y ok, gracias. El, ah, una caja para un, un disco viejo. Ok, eso les va a quedar de tarea. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta por este momento? Sí, ¿Quién, me puede, es, ¿Quién me puede dar un ejemplo? ¿Es para ahorita o es para...? No, es homework. Homework. Como la tarea que dejó anterior. That's right. Para... Okay. That is homework. 
All right, vamos a ver el próximo ejercicio que es la sección 1.10. ¿Todos están en el 1.10? Sí. Ok. Vamos a hacer la 1.10. Right here. Instructions, complete the conversations by filling in the blanks. Instrucciones, complete las conversaciones rellenando los espacios en blanco. Vamos a hacerlo en parejas y después lo vamos a chequear todos juntos. We're going to do... Ready, let's go. Recuerde que le tiene que dar el botoncito que dice ingresar o entrar. ¿Estamos bien? Sí. Va, vamos. Dale con la tres tú. Steven is over there. Correcto. Estamos bien. Eh, Rubén, tú no, no puedes verlo, dice, va. No, no puedo verlo, pero estoy viendo por favor, ocupándolo. Ah, listo, voy, voy con la cuatro yo. Entonces, la cuatro sería... ¿Are you Steven Carson? Ok, déjate ir con la cinco, Uriel. Hi, I am Nicole Johnson. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. La última sería... Steven, it is nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I see it. Ahí está. Listo. Eso sería básicamente el, el, el ejercicio de la 1.10. El ejercicio. Y como así sí. de rápido. Hola, hola. No, eh, al ah, señor, pregúntale. Hola. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hello, ok, ¿Quién, ¿quién, ¿quién me puede responder la número uno? Eh, ¿cuál, es la, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? La número Ay. uno. Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No, I am not. Very good. Number two. My name is David Marina. Very good. Is number three. Steven is over there. Oh, Steven is over there. Very good. There. Number four. Are you Steven Carson? Are you Steven Carson? Number four. Number five. Hi, 
and Nicole Johnson. I'm Nicole Johnson, number five, good. Number six. Steven, it's nice to meet you. It's nice it's, to meet you. It's nice it's, to meet you. Good. That is correct. We got I am. Is. Is. Are. I am. Teacher. It's hi. <clears throat> Teacher, uh, oh. uh, number one, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, is correct. Okay. No, I am not. And number two yeah. is, is, number three is, eh, ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Sería solo para terminar la oración, mm -hmm. lo que falta para terminar la oración. That is correct, Oscar. ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ok. Allí puede ver que estamos eh, completando la oración. Por ejemplo, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? Y ahí ponemos... No, I, I am. am not. Number two, my name is David, David Medina. Medina. Number three, Stephen is, is over there. there. Number four, are you Stephen Carson? Number five, hi, I am, I am Nicole Joseph. Number six, Stephen, it's, it's nice to meet you. Tengo una consulta, Ticho. Yes. Eh, cuando yo estuve llenando hoy noche en la plataforma, eso eh, estuve poniendo it, pero no me lo agarró solo con el apóstrofe y la S. Hasta uh -huh. que puse it is, me lo aceptó. Ok. Yeah, y veo sometimes... que ahorita se lo aceptó a usted. Sí, por en veces la plataforma da error así. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Con la pregunta del compañero Oscar, a mí me pasó lo mismo, pero este, a veces nos confundimos con el apóstrofe. Tal vez no era el apóstrofe el que estabas poniendo. Porque yeah. a mí me pasó lo mismo. Es que sí, porque por el teléfono a veces nos pone otra cosa. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ok, let's go ahead and look at the next exercise. For the, yeah. for the next exercise, we're going to be looking at this section, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, students will be able to exchange phone numbers. Al final de esta clase, los estudiantes podrán intercambiar números telefónicos. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and phone numbers. ¿Escuchan? Let's get started yes. by going over the numbers yes. one through 10. Yes, it Let's listen and repeat. Yes. Zero. O. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Anna Silva. Anna Silva's work phone number is 201-555-2491. Anna Silva's Home phone number is 
914-554-2714. Anna Silva's mm -hmm. cell phone number is 845-545. 1023. And you get the idea. James Lang phone number. James Lang work phone number is 800 555 8893. James Lang home phone number is 604 555 2714. James Lang's cell phone number is 250-555-1023. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is 713-695-3539. My cell phone number is my wife's cell phone number is you should give at least 10 examples and share them in our discussion forums okay so for this activity you're going to ask your partner the phone numbers um, i would like for us to take the attendance right now cuando llame su nombre, vamos a tomar la asistencia. Por favor, diga presente. Angélica. Angélica. Ok, absent. Joaquín. Presente. Present. Miriam. Present. Very good. Moises. Present teacher. Excellent. Norma. Elizabeth. Presente. <laughs> Muria Beatriz. Muria Beatriz. Presente teacher. Norma Elizabeth. Okay. Norma Elizabeth. Okay. Norma Elizabeth. ¿Por qué me suena así? No lo sé, pero present le dije yo. Ok, Nuria, thank you. All right, Norma Yamilet, present. Eh, Nuria Beatriz, present. Odette. Present, teacher. Thank you, Odette. Oscar. Present, teacher. Very good. Paola. Present. Good job. Patricia. Patricia. Patricia Maria, absent. Okay. Eh, René. Present teacher. Very good. Roberto. Present. Thank you. Rosemary. Present. Thank you. Rubén. Present teacher. Good job. Sandra. Present. Thank you. Saúl. Present. Okay. Good job. Saúl. Sonia. Present. Very good. Stephanie. Stephanie, absent. Mm -hmm. Tulma. Present. Thank you. Susan. Susan. Absent. Okay. Tomasa. Present teacher. Excellent. Tomasa. Uriel. Present. Good job, Uriel. Veronica. 
present. Very good. Veronica, Veronica Esther. <laughs> Veronica Esther absent. Virginia. Present. Virginia, good job. Wendy. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wendy. William. Present, teacher. Excellent, William. Hilbert. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you, Wilmer. Okay. All right, guys. Now, what you're going to do Wendy. is we're going to look Wendy. at the next activity. Is there one question? Yes. Uh, will there be class tomorrow? Uh, yes. Okay. Class normal tomorrow. Okay. Es algún día festivo mañana o algo así. Sí, el día los. Le pregunté al jefe que 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 si nos iba a dar el día porque el día de los muertos pues está muerto me dijo no le dije ah pues no me dijo trabajar. <laughs> 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 yeah, we have class normal. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We have class normal, brother. Sí, yo pregunto porque en la... Hey, en la ese, en... ese jefe... Cosa seria, ese jefe. Uh, Nuria. Yeah. Es que recuerdo que en la, en la videoconferencia inicial nos dijeron que iban a pasar por la clase para viernes. Dijo Paola Iglesias, creo. Mm. Ok, ah, pues es de consultarlo. Voy a, voy a consultarlo yo. Voy a consultarlo, Oscar. Voy a consultarlo y yo les aviso al grupo. Yo tengo otra consulta. Yo mañana tengo turno de noche, entonces depende cómo esté el trabajo. No sé si voy a poder tener activa la cámara. Puedo estar presente en la clase, pero no sé si voy a tener activa la cámara. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, that's ok. Ok, gracias. Uh, Nuria, Norma. ¿Hasta para qué fecha tenemos para entregar todas las actividades? Tomorrow. Ok. La, la 1 y 2, sección 1 y 2, tomorrow. Por eso estoy tratando de movernos rápido. ¿Algo otra pregunta? Sí, yo. No sé si le puse a Maya Milet porque eso es normal. Ok, sí le pusimos presente. Disculpe, teacher, entonces tenemos hasta mañana para las tareas. Correct. Sección 1 okay. y 2. En, eh, sí, en mi caso, teacher, yo mañana este, tengo un compromiso okay. y no pues estoy segura de poder entrar a clases, pero usted avisará si van a ver o no, ¿verdad? Correct. That is correct. Ok. 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 All right, guys. Uh, we're going to put, we're going to go to the next activity, which is this activity over here. Numbers. Listen, please. Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. 212-555-1937? Yes, that's it. Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is 347-555-7645. 347-555-7645. That's right. Now let's see. Stephen Carson. His phone number is 201-555-3648. Right? Yes, that's right. 201-555-3648. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. 
Our number is 646-555-3806. So Nicole's phone number is 646-555-3806. And your number is 646-555-3806. It's the same number. Right. Hey, what's your phone number, Michael? It's 718-555-9960. OK, great. One more time. One more time. Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. 212-555-1937? Yes, that's it. OK, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is 347-555-7645. 347-555-7645. That's right. Now let's see. Even Carson. His phone number is 201-555-3648, right? Yes, that's right. 201-555-3648. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. Our number is 646 555-3806. So Nicole's phone number is 646-555-3806. And your number is 646-555-3806. It's the same number. Right. Hey, what's your phone number, Michael? It's 718-555-9960. OK, great. OK, who can give me the first one, David Medina's phone number, one volunteer? OK, teacher. Two. Two. Yeah. OK. Two. Two. One. Two. Two, two, one, two. No, 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 no. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Mm -hmm. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. 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 One, wow. nine. Nine, three. Three, seven. Three, seven. Okay, three, seven. One, nine, three, seven. Uh, Sarah Connor's phone number? Three, three, four, seven, five, five, five. five, five. five. Seven, seven, six, four, five. Four, five. 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 Four, five. Good. Stephen Carson. Two, two, two zero, one, one, five, 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 En Steven Carson phone number mm -hmm. se lee 201 555 3648 That's good. Porque 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 se se le llama o al cero Oh, lo puede decir de dos formas. Puede decir O o puede decir zero. Whatever you prefer. Oh. Ok, ok. Thank yeah. you. Yes, sir. O lo cual? Uh, zero. You can say zero or O. It's, it's whatever you want. Oh. 
Okay, Nicole. Six, four, six, five, 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 Same number. Six, five, 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 Seven one five six four six five 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 all right, good job, guys. Uh, so we are finished with section number one. We're going to go ahead and move forward to section number two. On section number two, we're going to be looking at, by the end of this class, you will become familiar with common object language that people have in their bags. Al final de esta clase, ustedes van a formalizarse con lenguaje de objetos comunes que las personas llevan and sus bolsos. What's in your bag? Listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which Can people have here? in their bags. We will listen to yes. a yes. audio, here? and you okay. should listen yes. and repeat. Listen An and address repeat. book. An address book. A hair. Listen and repeat. An address book. Address book. An address book. An address book. In the address, address book. An address book. Address book. A camera. 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 Key. 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 A cell phone. A cell phone. A CD player. A CD player. A, a CD player, sunglasses, 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 a wallet, a wallet, a wallet, a wallet, a wallet, a hairbrush, a hairbrush, a hairbrush, a hairbrush. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. Okay. Brush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. Listen and repeat. A camera. Repeat. Keys. A camera. A camera. Cell phone. A camera. A cell phone. One more cell time. Phone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, Key. so I want you to repeat everything. This class, you'll become class, familiar with you common objects. Familiar with common objects. People have in their bags. People have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio. Hi, hey, everyone. Listen and repeat. In Hi, this everyone. class, you'll become familiar with common class, objects. Familiar which people with have objects. in their bags. Which people have we'll listen in their bags. To audio, and you should listen and repeat. Listen and Press repeat. Hairbrush. A wallet. Hairbrush. Sunglasses. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. Sunglasses. CD player. Key. Camera. Camera. Cell phone. Okay. Good job. Let's go to the next one. We're going to look at this, these, este y estos. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? 
It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out T-H-I-S, whenever you're talking about one object, which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these, that spell out T-H-E-S-E, -E, whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. This is if you want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? They're earrings or their cameras for example right for our practice exercise I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers for example what are these their keys what's this it's a CD player you're gonna do the same with numbers three four five and six after you complete your work you should share it in our discussion forums. Ok, este ejercicio lo their van a completar earrings. abajo. Or their Aquí, cameras, for example. Right? Forum, For our practice. What are they? What are these? They are keys. Lo va a escribir acá. Las oraciones. Dos. Bueno, perdón. Tres. 4, 5 y 6. Solo esos. Lo vamos a escribir. Sí, sería tarea, teacher. Es esta tarea, correcto. Oh, ok, perfecto. Ahorita quiero que veamos esta knowledge check. Esta la van a hacer en parejas. Right now. Y después la vamos a chequear. Este, la, la primera es, what is this, que sería el número dos, ¿verdad? Sería, it's a CD player. Es correcto. Sí. Uh, la tercera sería, 
what are this are these are these la cuarta sería what is this it's a watch it's a watch uh what uh, is this sería esa it's a self cell phone y la seis sería what are are these they are sunglasses okay ¿Ya le dio enviar? Sí, ya le di. Uh -huh. ahí, ahí indica si todas están buenas, ¿verdad? Todas están buenas. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, ya nos sacamos 10. Sí, ¿verdad? Todo salió bien. Uh -huh. It's time to go. All right, guys, we're going to see you tomorrow. Good night. See you Good tomorrow, night. guys. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good evening. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good bye. Good bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Buenas noches. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.